all my preschool, pre-K, and kindergarten friends. Miss Karen is here with Humphrey, and today I'm going to read to you a book about a musical instrument that we all have with us at all the time, but we don't talk a lot about it, and that is our voice. This book is called Doo-Wop Pop, and it is written by Ronnie Schotter and illustrated by Brian Collier. Well, they used to call him Mr. Snow, but his real name is Mr. Searle. He's old but cool. He cleans our school with a broom and a mop, and his sounds, he calls them doo-wop. In the oldie but goodie days, he was lead singer with the icicles. He sang doo-wop, shabop, shabop, my baby. Let me tell you, he says, we were smooth. People stopped to hear us sing. And watch us move. Now, when doo-wop pop sweeps, I do my hide and peek. I like to watch him. He takes one step forward and goes shaboom with his broom. He takes another step back and says shabop with his mop. Doo-wop adop, he adds with a hop. That's why we call him doo-wop pop. Me, they call the slipper, but my real name is Elijah Earl. I won't lie, I'm shy. While other kids are talking, I keep on walking. I slip by. And there he is. There's Elijah in the back watching him do a pop. In our school, I'm not alone. There are three or four like me on their own. Under her headscarf, Alicia hides more than her hair. And Jacob, he twitches when the other kids stare. Lewis likes to burrow his head in a book so no one can spot him or give him a look. Then there's Pam Pam. She's even shyer than I am. One day, in the lunchroom, I'm sitting solo, eating my PB&J, when Doo-Wop Pop comes over, smiles, and says, hey. I see you, he says, always hiding, taking your notes, so take this down, one of my favorite quotes. It's no disgrace to show your face. I swallow some air, along with some fear. When I finally look up, his face is near. I'm inches from the diamond that shines in his ear. Not long ago, I was just like you, on the edge of the world. Didn't know what to do. Man, I was caught. Till one day, eating lunch, I thought, Stop being the carrot that stays out of the soup. Dive in with the potatoes. Be part of the group. I don't speak. I just stare at my jeans. I'm not stupid. I know what he means. Be bop a bold, Elijah Earl. Be bop a brave. Come a come a come a out of your cave. Do what pop sings. Meet me af here after school. I'll teach you some stuff. Before I say no, he's gone in a rush. I think he's going to show up. At 310... School's out, but what can I say? My butterflies are fluttering in a really bad way. I'm asking myself, should I go or stay? When suddenly, good, all my carrots are here. Dive in, watch my feet. Do what I do, follow the beat. Gonna teach you the moves, so step right, step left, cross over, now back, lean forward, lean backward. Let your fingers snap. Again! I try, but I can't do it. My feet are a twist. I'm a pretzel, not a dancer. I know soon I'll be dissed. But when I dare to take a peek at the others and their feet, I see that they're tangled too. Everyone's doing the best they can do.
Shadoo bop a lop, says doo wop pop. You kids are on the top. Now stop. All you need now is music, your own special song. But aren't you going to teach it to us, Lewis asked softly, so we can sing along? Wrong. That's your job. Stop, look, and listen to the world. Catch the thing that makes you feel like you just have to sing. There's music in the air, inside, outside, everywhere. There's doo-wop, pop, bebop, hip-hop, rap, boogie-woogie, punk, funk, salsa, ska, jazz, and rock. Even Mr. J.S. Bach, and he's one cool dude. As for words, they fly among us like beautiful birds. B but I say, how can we? None of us, well, not even a one of us, has an instrument to play. Wella, 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 my doubting young fella, do what pop laughs. That's why we call it a cappella. That's when you sing without an instrument, with just your voice. And Doo-Wop Pop sits us down and tells us how he used to travel round, singing Doo-Wop with no instruments. He says he was quite the sight. He wore a suit so gleaming white, some so folks said it was made of moonlight. He kept a handkerchief in his pocket in a diamond shape, and he wore a cape lined with silver speckled crepe. One night he got to sing on a stage of a place so great and of such account it was called the Paramount. All that was a long time ago, but one day, he says, I know I'll sing again on a stage. You have to have a dream, especially at my age. For now I've got my today work to do, and now my sweet carrots, so do you. Then do what pop, he grabs his broom with a slide and a spin. He leaves the room. The very next day, we start to meet. And like Mr. Searle told us, we listen for the beat. For the music of our world, the click, clack, clack of feet in the halls, the burst of laughter through the walls, the kids in the orchestra rehearsing on stage, the rattle of a turning page. We collect all kinds of sounds. The squawking talk of blackboard chalk, the thump-a-bumpa of a basketball dribbling, even the soft sounds of pencil scribbling. We hear papers folding, teachers scolding, the tickety talk of our classroom clock. A coin drops, plippity plop plop. We turn it all into doo wop. When we start singing together, we discover a treat. Alicia has rhythm feet. She can rapidly tap, keep track of the beat. Lewis sings high up, and when he lets go, he sings in what Mr. Searle calls falsetto. Jacob, he's the best at singing bass. He sings so deep and low, there's nowhere lower he can go. As for Pam Pam, well, she can sure jam jam. We practice each and every day until one morning... We hear Mr. Searle say, You've been working a lot. It's time to hear what you've got. Let's hear how you fare. And he opens the door that leads to the stair. In the stairwell, we ask? Steps, walls, tile? We don't buy it. It's for the echo, Mr. Searle says. Try it. Okay, we say, but inside we're thinking, No way. But when the sound of our song bounces back off the tile, we sound so good we start to smile. I knew you would, Mr. Searle says. We sing. We do our moves. Mr. Searle nods. He approves. I close my eyes. I hear the blend, each of us singing, each a new friend. One sings low, one sings sweet. When we sing together, we can't bebop a beat. I hear 
Mr. Cyril clapping. He cla sounds awfully loud. I open my e eyes. Surprise, there's a crowd. The door's wide open. Everyone can hear us. Our principal, teachers, even the other kids cheer us. We blush. Your fans, Mr. Searle says. Just listen. His diamond eyes glisten. My carrots, take a bow. We do and feel great. Wow. And now, wella, wella, wella. This is how our story ends. The five of us, we got new friends. Ooby dooby doop, we're even larger singing group. And doo-wop pop, well, he's put away his broom and mop. Every day now, after school, he teaches doo-wop. But the most amazing thing, one night we climbed on stage to sing. Were we scared? You bet. But we told ourselves, be bop a brave, be bop a bold. And though our knees shook and our palms were cold, let me tell you, we carrots, we rock and rolled. And my friends, that is the end of a wonderful story about friends using their voices and making music together. Love you all. Bye.